Hey guys, David here to share with you an exciting new survival journey that my son Ben, you might know him as producer Ben from the Survival Show podcast or Ultimate Survival Tips. We, over the last three, four years, have been discussing doing our part to do regenerative agriculture organics. So, two years ago, we started an organic farm. Actually, it was a really, really expensive hobby, but we're in our second year now. Combine is behind me. We are in the endless mountains of North Central Pennsylvania where it is not flat land and we have very short windows of producing crops. So it's December right now, there's snow on the ground and we have three quarters of our corn harvest to still get in. But we're super stoked, we're excited. We are daily breaking things and fixing things and dealing with all kinds of obstacles to what it is to farm today. And along the way, we're having a good time, mostly a good time. So. This video is one of the first ones on our new channel, Stonehaven Organics. So just to get you guys up to speed, to give you an opportunity to go over there and to know why I'm not around as much as I used to be, I wanted to share this and a couple other of our first videos with you. So you have the opportunity to subscribe, go check out what Ben and I and a large cast of very interesting characters are doing these days with regards to doing a startup farm from scratch. Yeah, I don't have a ton of money and we don't own a farm, but here we are. We're farming almost 500 acres. Very thankful to be doing it. All right, guys, that's about it. Throw us a like, comment, let us know what you think of this and go over to Stonehaven Organics and subscribe if you like this sort of content. Enjoy the video. Oh, this is where we're going? How far? What do those hold? These are 20,000. Wet, thin, like a 5,000. Small, 50. Oh, is that our corn? Yep. Nice. If you want to run that again, I'm up to sit so it kind of gets some room temperature. Right, right. I had a problem. I'll let you do that. I used to have the same. Is it a jack? Am I just a mini jack? Yeah, I'm just a mini jack. So, what are we doing here? We're testing the moisture and test weight and temperature of the pump. Oh, man. High I'd tech. Warm, <laughs> and I'd warmed it up. We made the first sample. Now we're just checking. I left it in here to kind of warm up the room temperature. It actually wasn't as cold as I thought. Maybe I think it was 46 degrees or something. Okay. First, first sample. So. so this is all to calibrate Ben's unit right here? Too? Yeah, correct. Yeah, okay. give him the baseline. Yeah. And so it's right here. Yeah. yeah. So then this comes yep, out. Pull that right out of there. You got that corn cleaned up a lot from the first load. There's hardly any cob and stuff in there. That first load is a little rough. Yeah. It was, we were at night time and I was just like, I'm just going to go. And yeah. Oh man, it was like grinding it. Yeah, we've done those things. Right. Yeah, you're you're one point high. I mean, and then your test weight was a little bit. Yeah, good morning. My name's John Painter, and I'm one of three partners at Painterland Farms. My brother Clinton and Bradley and I own the farm together. 
we own all the cattle and equipment. My mother, or my dad's trust owns most of the property and we do own some of the property. So we're a 450 cow organic dairy. And then we sell a lot of hay and corn and some small grains to customers throughout Pennsylvania, New York, and some into Maryland. We're here today at the green facility where we built, I think it was in 2018, we built this facility. There's 57,000 bushel of storage here in a truck scale and a thousand bushel top dry. So we're here today and drying the neighbor's corn and trying to help them out and kind of what the farming community does. Everybody needs to work together so we can make it happen. So they brought a trailer load to keep corn and a wet corn. And it'll take a thousand bushel to fill the dryer. And when we're done drying, when we're done unloading, we're going to turn the truck around and load out a load of their dry corn. And then I'll start the dryer. And the corn today is 28% moisture. And that'll take about three and a half hours to dry approximately in there. So the corn, when it's dry, they have a chart that I'm going to give them here so they know how much corn they'll get back. And then we'll kind of go from there. So. Nice. And the day is uh, is us, right? <laughs> the day is us. The day is us. <laughs> and John, can you tell us a little bit about um, the test weight? Like what, what happens to corn when it dries down? Uh, as corn matures and dries down, the test weight, the normal test weight of corn, or the standard, I should say, is 56. The field conditions, the fertility, and then the growing season, and what we got for heat or rain, or this year we had smoke that they're saying affected the test weight. So all the test weight in the region is lower than normal. Everybody I've talked to is running somewhere after it's dried around 52 to 54 pounds. So Ben's corn is a little bit wetter and the test weight is lighter. Part of that is because what we're doing here is all organic. In organic, we have to use conventional seed with non-GMOs and none of the other stuff in it. So that affects, they keep breeding the technology up. So the test weight, the, the mills will deduct sometimes for that. And if you're selling corn and it's going to, especially to bird seed and that kind of thing, they want a heavy test weight. Now, some of the nutritionists around the country now are kind of recommend they use the lighter test weight because it digests faster in the cow's stomach and plus it fills up, it adds more starch. It takes more volume to get enough pounds. So it's kind of an interesting theory and that's not a proven thing on the, on the industry standard, but that's why they look for test weight. So it's pretty amazing to me that we can put a thousand bushel corn in your dryer and it's done in what three hours yeah and it's pretty amazing and as the moisture comes down we dried some last week it was down under 20 and that's about two hours okay you know so so it's all about our starting moisture content then. exactly and our dryer here there's a spring box over on the other side and we run that temperature at 180 degrees to plant them up in there and then the heat filters up through the corn in the top of that dryer and like Ben's corn, I think I have that set at 28 and a half. I have that set at 125 degrees. So that corn will have to reach 125 degrees and I have to hold there about three minutes be consistently before it drops and shuts the funnel off and, and the corn's ready to drop. So That's fascinating. It, it is fascinating. It's more <laughs> fascinating and I'm sure you're good on the phone. You can see a video of it on there where it kind of goes up through and, and you can literally see the line. And it's interesting, I went up because you fill the bin. Ben brought a load the other day and, there's, and it was his driest load. He's still going to lose about 10,000 pounds off of that. But when you go up in the bin, it is full. It's a, and when it dried, I went up and I bet it dropped 10 or 12 inches in the bin. It's amazing to see that, you know. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah so. Sorry, do you have the dryers here? The dryer is here. Okay. And we never had a dryer before and then we just we was always kind of at the mercy of the market, you know, at, at harvest time. And that's usually when the price is the cheapest. And so my brothers and I decided we'd build this. And so we did, and we built the three bins first. And then two years ago, I think we built the second 20,000 bushel bin. It's worked out really good for us. We have, I have a couple dairy customers that are regular and I have a, an egg guy that's a regular customer and they both been, all three of them have been a customer three years or more worked out really good it holds their price consistent i know what i'm going to get for my corn 
and I know that I have a market for it. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Well, we appreciate you having us out today and calibrating Ben's, oh, my Ben's equipment here. We're here at our grain facility. We're going to dry that or Ben's corn. And what happens here is we have a certified truck scale, 200,000 pound scale. That's not a requirement of the farm drying system, but because we use crop insurance and sometimes we dry for other people, it's just real handy and convenient to have it here. So what happens is they bring a tractor trailer load of corn, it takes a thousand bushel to fill our bin. So we literally need 56,000 pounds of corn or they're about to come. If truck comes, stops on the scale and weighs it. He then pulls the head to the pit and it goes up that leg and into the drying bin over here. And there's a thousand bushel bridge at the top of that and it fills up automatically. When it gets full, there's an alarm that comes on so I don't have to keep running up there and watching it. The alarm comes on, I shut that off, turn the dryer on, the dryer will build up the plenum temperature set at 180 degrees. Ben's corn is set to dry at 125 degrees because of the moisture it's at. That plenum temperature will build up to 180. Is that goes above or below, it'll either go to high fire or low fire. It'll continue to hold that temperature at 180 degrees till that thousand bushel of corn reaches 125 degrees. When it does that and it sets for three minutes consistently, the dryer shuts off. We let it, they call it steep there just for a couple minutes. It drips off a little bit of condensation that's still there. And then I crank the handle and let it down and we're ready to go with the next batch. And kind of the advantage of the top dry is you already have the heat there. So if you have more corn to add, you're reusing some of the heat that you had in the beginning. So kind of saving a little energy at the same time. So. So it just still seems so fascinating to me that that all works so efficiently. It is very interesting. And then the other advantage, we're going to load some of Ben's dry corn out. And with this truck scale, the way we have it set up, the truck we can turn around. We in, you dry it, and then we bring the dry corn out. Yep, yeah, yep. And, yeah. and we can set up, and when they finish loading the truck, we're completely setting on the scale so we can be at 80,000 pounds and get the maximum capacity out of our truck also. So. That's awesome. Nope, we're waiting on the truck now. Let's go. <laughs> All, right, All right, thank you. Thanks so much, John. Yes, sir. Thank you. It. Ben, thank you. All righty. Hey, guys, I'm David. Thanks for watching the video. And I'm Ben. It's cold out. That's a broken tractor. I got to go fix it. Thanks for joining Dad and I on this new adventure. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, I think that's it. Work hard, stay positive, and Keep your fingers out of the PTO shafts. That's right. <laughs> Be safe. <laughs>